money problems. First at six, a nation on the brink of catastrophe as lawmakers inch closer to a major deadline with no deal made. Talks of what to do with the current debt ceiling have been constant, with both sides of the aisle getting further and further from reaching an agreement. Thank you for joining us. I'm Diana Davis. June 1st is the date the United States will go into default, and much is at stake if that were to happen. President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said recent talks have been productive, but McCarthy added there has still been no progress. With so much at stake, an Arkansas representative is speaking out on the issue. Our Hayden Savage spoke with him and has more. It's our top story. You know, we don't know what to expect if we default because we've never defaulted before. So it's, it's purely speculation what might happen but we don't want to run that risk. Representative Rick Crawford in the House of Representatives awaiting a solution to the debt ceiling crisis when on June 1st, the U.S. could default on its debt. Crawford saying Biden's recent trip out of the country has him scratching his head on where his priorities are. We're here we are at the 11th hour. Uh, meanwhile, he jets off to Japan when he should have been staying here in, in town, engaged with S Speaker McCarthy in trying to arrive at a, a workable solution. The congressman said this issue isn't something we just discovered in the last year, and there's been time to fix this issue, but it just hasn't been done. I campaigned on this, and here we are. We saw this coming a, a decade ago and didn't take it seriously and have spent ourselves into this situation. So now we're faced with raising the debt limit. He added that he believes the ceiling needs increased, but not without some cuts. If we're going to put more debt burden on our kids and our grandkids, and surely we can uh, take some steps to prevent loading up the credit card again. Uh, I think it's you know entirely appropriate and reasonable to think we could uh, pair a debt, cent a debt ceiling increase with some spending cuts and, and start to take our debt uh, uh, seriously. Crawford said, though, we are down to the final days before the June 1st deadline. He's confident a deal will be made. I think we're, we're, we're going to prevail here and, and things and cooler heads will prevail. I think things are going to be OK. But the reality is this should have been handled when the spending bill was passed and we wouldn't be having this conversation. And that was Hayden Savage reporting. House Republicans say there's been a lack of urgency from the White House on the debt ceiling.